Good morning, classmate, and especially good morning, ma'am. This is Al Muktadir S. Manginle, a science student of CFCST. And for today's video, I will discuss to you the aquatic biomes, which is the continuation of Chapter 7, Community and Ecosystem Dynamics. So without further ado, let's start. What is aquatic biomes? Aquatic biome is made of all bodies of water on Earth. It makes up almost 75% of our planet. Despite of covering 71% of Earth's surface, areas of ocean are a vast aquatic desert containing few nutrients and a very little life. Clean cut biome distinction in water, like those on land, are difficult to make. Dissolved nutrients control many local aquatic distribution. But the conditions in water are generally less harsh than those on land. Aquatic biome are further classified into two, the freshwater biome and the marine biomes. The freshwater biome is made up of water that contain less than 1% of salt. This include ponds, lakes, streams, rivers, and wetlands. Plants and animals that live in fresh water could not live in salt water. This is because they have adapted to the low amount of salt in fresh water. Under the fresh water biome, we have ponds and lake. A pond is a small body of still water surrounded by land. A lake is much bigger body of water surrounded also by land. Some ponds are seasonal. This means they can go each year. However, lakes can last for hundreds of years. Ponds and lakes are separated by lands, so they have a limited number of species. In ponds, the rooted plants can grow to the bottom since the water is low enough for sunlight to reach the bottom. In lakes, the water is deeper so it is harder for the sunlight to reach the lake floor. Ponds and lakes can be the home of frogs, crabs, fish, and insects. Lakes are larger than ponds and are stratified in summer and winter. The epilimnion is the upper surface of layer. It is warm in summer. The hypolimnion is the cold lower layer. A sudden drop in temperature occurs at the middle of the thermocline. Layering prevents mixing between the lower hypolimnion which is rich nutrients and the upper epilimnion which has oxygen absorbed from its surface. The epilimnion warms in springs and cools in fall, causing a temporary mixing. As a consequence, phytoplankton become more abundant due to the increased amount of nutrients. Life zones also exist in lakes and ponds. The littoral zone is closest to shore. The limnatic zone is the sunlit body of the lake. Below the level of sunlight penetration, is the dark profundal zone. At the soil water interface, we found the benthic zone. The term benthos is applied to those animals and other organisms that live or in the benthic zone. Another type of aquatic biomes, we have marine biomes. So unlike freshwater biome, the water in marine biomes is made up of more than 3% salt. Four types of marine biomes, we have estuaries, sea source, coral reefs, and An oceans. estuary is where fresh water and salt water meet. An example is the mouth of river flowing into the ocean. Estuaries are called nursery of the sea because many of young marine fish develop in this protected environment before moving as adults into the wide open seas. An estuary can be the home of birds, insects, worms, fish, and shellfish. The seashore, also called coastline, shoreline, or beach, is the proportion of a continent or island where land and sea meet. The seashore includes the area covering by water during high tide and exposed air during low tide. The area splashed by waves but never underwater and the area just beyond the shore but always underwater. Seasore were first created when the continents and islands of Earth were formed. Since then, many changes have occurred. Some happened during prehistoric time and others are still taking place. 
Coral reef are like an underwater garden made of hard rocky skeleton where animals and plants live there together. They are near coast because many plants and algae live there need sunlight in order to survive. This make them home to almost 25% of all life in the ocean. Oceans cover about three quarters of Earth's surface. Oceanic organisms are placed either in pelagic or ventic categories. Pelagic division is divided into neuretic and three levels of Pelagic provinces. Neuretic province has greater concentrations of organisms because sunlight penetrates nutrients are found here. Epipelagic zone is brightly lit, has much photosynthetic phytoplankton that supports soft plankton that are found or fish, squids, dolphins, and whales. Mesopelagic zone is semi-dark and contains carnivores. Adapted organisms tend to be translucent, red color, or luminescent for example streams squids lantern and hatchet pieces the batipelagic zone is completely dark and largest in size it has strange looking fish benthic division includes organism on continental shelf or sublittoral continental slope or batial and the abyssal plain from small funds to huge oceans the aquatic biome makes up a very important part of our planet Throw your hands up if you with it, drop it.